Hey casters and reloaders, thanks for joining my channel. Doing some uh, casting with my new NOE um, 9mm hollow point mold. And testing out to see these, what these different pins look like. I got one that's a deep, uh, deep hollow point and then another one is a shallow. And so far, um, still a learning curve for me on how to cast with these hollow point pins. But you can see that there's something a little different about my Lee 420 pot. And there's an LCD screen, some switches sitting right above it. Well, I've been busy this whole weekend making my own PID controller. Um, I know Johnny's Reloading Bench made a great video, great series on how he made his. And I kind of wanted to make my own. You know, reading from a lot of people, they're swearing by it for casting. But look at online and look at the parts. I think it ends up being around like 90 bucks to be you know built. So I wanted to be a little innovative and use something called an Arduino. So if you guys are interested, stick around and we'll talk about it. We'll see how uh, this thing is built. Alright, so here's a close-up of the actual uh, PID controller itself. I actually made a backing plate. I just haven't put it on because I'm gonna change this screen out. It got damaged. A screwdriver fell on it and made a big old scratch here, but I plan on actually getting a it's called an I2C um, LCD and it's gonna eliminate more than half of those wires up there. Basically be a four wire connection. Um, and I my main purpose of building this was um, to pretty much self-contain everything inside the Lee 420 pot and have just one cord um, sticking out of it. It's just AC. Um, and just to kind of save some valuable workbench space. Now, I thought I was being innovative and being one of the first ones to do it, but I found another guy here on YouTube that did the exact same thing before I did. So, <laughs> I'm going to put a link in the description below, his channel, and he did a great write-up of how he built his. Of course, um, it, it's a little bit different, and uh, the coding is a little different. So, I'll put a link in the description on, on his channel and his write-up, and then I'm also going to include my Arduino code. Uh, because I'm not really a pro on Arduino yet. Um, so I'm just learning some things to, you know, with it. And like I said, they're really powerful little computers. So hopefully you guys out there uh, who know Arduino can look over this code and tell me how I can improve on it. So far I'm able to actually get it to hold temperature within 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, I can't seem to get that blinking. A refresh rate out of the way but whatever it seems to work <laughs> uh, and I think a lot of it to do why the temperature is fluctuating a lot is because I got this little cheesy uh, uh, probe thermocoupler type K probe that came with it it's a little small it's like a centimeter type or one inch probe instead of the typical one that you've seen um, from Johnny's reloading bench but like I said it's all self-contained and uh, Give me a second, I'll take it apart and show you guys what it looks like. Well, here's what it looks like inside. Like I said, I put everything inside the back. I kind of made my own uh, plate and used some brass um, risers for uh, printed circuit boards to mount these things on. But that's the Arduino itself. I got the Uno. And I used a uh, thermocoupler add on called a Max. 6675 which is that bad boy right there what that does is that takes the uh, signal from the thermocoupler and um, converts it to a millivolt range that the Ar Arduino can read uh, next to it is the relay and this is what's pretty much driving um, the the coils I got AC coming in of course AC coming out in line with a 10 amp fuse going into the coil and then that side is um, your, my common so it's still a prototype you can tell there's a lot of wiring in here I added a um, breadboard just kind of for a quick uh, connection and a potentiometer for my contrast on my uh, LCD panel but a lot of those wires are going to go away when I change that LCD screen out to a uh, an I2C style um, LCD screen um, like I said, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it took me a while, 
But uh, I repurposed a lot of things from an old computer case. Now, this is from a, um, an IDE hard drive power cord. And uh, I repurposed that to uh, pretty much for my AC. Um, it had an extra uh, 18 gauge wire that's going up to a uh, AC to DC uh, adapter. And what I did is I took apart an old um, as a power adapter plug from one of my kids' toys that converted uh, 120 AC to uh, 8 volt DC. So uh, that worked out great. I, of course, I ran the wire up to an on and off switch and back down to the voltage input on the Arduino itself and also tied a ground. So um, other than that, uh, the pins on the LCD screen, <laughs> kind of see the old hard drive LED <laughs> pin connectors. Yeah, like I said, it was, just, it was an old uh, computer case, but it um, took a while. Um, like I said, it's still kind of a prototype. I, I could definitely make this a lot cleaner. I, I mean, I just threw it together uh, just to uh, see how it works and do some testing on the temperature. Um, like I said, it seems to hold temperature fairly okay. Um, that's why I'm kind of reaching out to you guys to see, uh, you know, if you guys can look at the code and tell me what you think, um, how I can make it stabilize a lot better. I think my main reason um, for fluctuating, uh, you know, 15 or 10 degrees to 15 degrees is uh, this thermocoupler itself. So it's just a uh, single little chingus. But it's working for now. It's holding temperature in the middle of the cast pretty good. Made about, say, 200, 300, uh, 9 millimeters. Got some already powder coated. Um, I'm going to send some of these out for, uh, to a friend of mine for testing. And once I'm done, I'm going to cast those things with zinc. But let me know what you guys think and uh, any other ideas. Um, for now, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a... Uh, kind of rundown of how I built it. So stay tuned. Be right back. I'm gonna